hello friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new you guys are you looking for something super easy super delicious and very minimal effort well then you have come to the right place because today i'm sharing with you guys some awesome crock pot meals these will get your dinner on the table in a in a hurry because this stuff can slow cook all day you can dump it in there let it go and come back to it and serve your family a meal that hopefully they won't complain about I mean, they're always going to complain, but hopefully not as much. So, you guys, and it's also super, super cheap, these meals. So, today's video is also in collaboration with one of my very, very favorite YouTubers, Jessie Christine. I love her. I've been following her for years. I just think she is one of the best. Um, I love her cleaning motivation. She is so detailed, so thorough, but she is also such a sweetheart. So, I am so glad I've gotten to know her, and she is just an amazing person. Hey guys, I'm Jessica, and today over on my channel, I'm doing a power hour. So I've made a list here, and I'm gonna set my timer for one hour and see how much I can get done. And you guys, these are so motivating. They help motivate me to just really get going, and it kind of gives me that momentum that I really struggle with, and I know a lot of you do as well. So if you wanna head over to my channel and check this video out, and hopefully you will enjoy it and do and decide to stay, but I am going to be sharing my best tips, tricks, and hacks on how to clean more efficiently, how to get motivated, and just how to get as much done as you can in one hour, and kind of how to maintain a clean house. I've got tons of cleaning videos over on my channel that share all of those types of things, and if you like to watch cleaning videos, then hopefully you would like my channel, but I would love to have you come on over, check out a video, and hopefully subscribe and stay a while, and if you do head over to my channel today, please leave me a comment and let me know you did. I would love to say hello and thank you so much for coming over if you do and go ahead and enjoy Tiffany's video today and I will see you over on my video in just a little bit. You guys, so you will definitely want to go and check her out. I'm providing the cooking motivation. She's providing the cleaning motivation. That way you have it all in one. So when you're done watching my video, go and check out Jessie Christine's channel. Like I said, she's a mama of three and she shares the best content. She has awesome music that she plays when she is cleaning and it's just, it is just so satisfying. But anyway, you guys, um, also if you wanna check out my apparel store, I do custom apparel and I do DTF transfers and I will link it below. It, um, my website is smalltownapparelstore.com but you guys, with much further ado, Let's get going and I will see you at the end. Okay guys, so what we're doing here is we're making chicken enchilada casserole. I've taken two packs. I already took the chicken out of the pack. Two packs of my chicken that I got on sale for like 68 cents each. You're supposed to mix this in a bowl, but who has time to do all that? Because it's gonna to melt together anyway in this crock pot. So if you want to, you can be fancy and mix it in a bowl. I'm just gonna lay it in there because it's gonna like all form together. Two cans of cream of chicken soup. We're gonna put that on top, this whole mixture. Like I said, some people like to do those extra steps. Woo! And make sure you throw your can in the crock pot too while you're doing this. There's your other can. And you know, if you can look for all like other ways to do this, some people are grossed out by the canned soup. I am not. You know, I've had my moments where I'll use something else. Um, green chilies, one can. We keep these on hand all the time. They're like 69 cents, I think, probably like two dollars now, but 69 cents at all these. You're gonna need um, a half a teaspoon of pepper, which I need to get out, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of onion powder. But you guys, I don't measure onion powder and I don't measure garlic powder because the more the merrier with the seasonings, in my opinion. Uh, the things I do measure are thyme and uh, you know, those types of like seasonings like you would use in chicken noodle soup, I am not a fan of them at all. So rosemary and stuff like that, it all just kind of grosses me out. So I will measure those. Um, but it's like a little goes a long way. Um, so a little, a little bit of pepper, half a teaspoon. You can eyeball it if you've been doing this forever. I know a bunch of you ladies can easily eyeball it and know exactly how much you're putting in. Um, we need some cayenne, but you guys know what? I don't know if I have any cayenne. Um, uh, actually, I do. Ryan likes the hot stuff. So cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna put a little bit, cause you know cayenne. It's supposed to be a fourth to a half a teaspoon. So there we go, that's good. He will probably dump a whole bunch more in there. 
Here also need three cups of ch cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, jalapeno cheese, whatever kind of cheese you want. I don't like to follow the, the recipes to a T. Um, and then you'll need 10 small flour tortillas. We'll cut those into slices later. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of the cheese into this now, and then we're gonna let this cook. Okay, so you're supposed to turn half of the cheese now. So it's three and a half cups in total because it's gonna melt together. Most recipes don't do that, but we will do it because that is weird to me, but we'll do it because it's gonna all like cook together. I am, you can use minced garlic also if you want to. I am going to use a little bit more garlic powder because I don't feel like um, that's enough. So we're gonna put this lid on. Woo, did you see the powder blow off there? We're gonna put this lid on and we are going to cook this. You can cook this, it says for high for three to four hours or low for six to eight. Nobody has time for low today. So we're gonna cook it. We're gonna go for the higher amount, probably four hours. If I have time, five hours because Ryan won't be eating until after football practice. We'll come back to this when it's done and we will um, shred the tortilla um, packet and put them in after we shred the chicken. And that's kind of what we'll do. It's like a casserole, but it all comes together so you don't have to sit and roll up tortillas and do all that kind of stuff and use your stove. This is just to make life easier. Okay, I've shredded the chicken. I put it back in. I took 10 tortillas and I've broken them up or cut them up. You can shred, you can like tear them. We're gonna add this back in and some of the cheese, like uh, half of the cheese. And we're just gonna mix this together. You're gonna cook this like an extra 30 minutes to soften these tortillas down in there because it's a casserole. And add the cheese so the cheese will melt because this will all like form together and be like one big yummy casserole. So let's do that. I'll get the cheese. Okay, so here's the cheese. I'm gonna add all that in and then I'm gonna stir it together and let it just kind of melt together for about 30 more minutes or just until I see the cheese melting because the tortillas will get soft really quick and then it will be dinner so here is dinner it's done cooking and I actually ate some without the tortillas in it it was really 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 good so there it is you guys super easy dinner you can serve it with rice or whatever you want but I just made it like this okay guys today we are going to Throw this together. And yes, I did say throw this together. I know some people are offended by that. So we are gonna make this creamy chicken pasta. And what we need is one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. So I've got one of these packs. And yes, this cost me like 68 cents for this. So this is a bargain meal. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, a 24.5 uh, ounce jar of marinara sauce. And then once we empty that, we'll we will refill it with water and then we also need 16 ounces of panay and a cup of heavy cream i'm going to sub out heavy cream today i do not have any heavy cream on hand i don't keep it often i usually keep half and half or you can use coconut milk in place if you didn't know that you can use whole milk and butter i mean there are so many options what i'm going to use that i keep on hand for recipes in the winter and i actually haven't used this is evaporated milk um it's a good sub it's just giving that creamy texture i guess um i don't use like i said i usually keep half and half that's my best sub um so we're gonna put the chicken which i did not can you tell i didn't thaw this okay so we're gonna add in the onion powder seasoning i am not measuring this guys but it's a teaspoon so i love garlic it's a, tea, it's a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder, salt and pepper to taste, a fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Um, and then for Italian seasoning, I'm not a huge fan of Italian seasoning, but it's a teaspoon. But since this is an Italian meal, we'll add it. <laughs> and then pepper. And you can measure this if you want to. I just choose not to. I'll, uh, Add a little bit of salt and then we're gonna get the marinara sauce out so i'm gonna add the parmesan and romano just because i think it has a obviously we like everything cheesy i wanted the simply brand that doesn't have the sugar in it but they didn't send me that at kroger so we're just gonna pour that in there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that jar and you're gonna fill it up with water so just fill it up And 
Actually, I'm gonna shake this. That way we get all the texture out of there. So we're gonna pour that in there. Look at that. And then we're gonna cook this. You can cook this on um, high for three to four hours. And then we're gonna shred this chicken. Um, because what I had to do with my evaporated milk, if you see this protein bottle, I didn't realize you're supposed to shake the evaporated milk. That's why it's sitting in there. We'll add all that in to make it, give it that creamy texture after the chicken cooks. But right now we'll come back in four hours and shred this. This looks like plain spaghetti, but it is so creamy. I'm gonna turn this off now. I've already gotten some of this out of there with the chicken. It is so, so good. I thought I was so afraid it was gonna be runny because of that liquid, but oh my gosh, it is so incredibly creamy. So really good. We'll top it with some cheese, serve it with some garlic bread, and dinner is done. Okay, friends, today we are gonna make something super cheap out of our pantry, and let's fix it fast. So this was 60. This was about 68 cents for this pack of chicken, you guys. So I um, I used to always, if you see me put the chicken straight in, I do, because there was like a research study and all this stuff. So I don't really wash the chicken anymore. Feel free to wash it if you want to. I don't. Um, so I'm going to put the chicken in there. This is just a little bit. I'm not using two packs today because honestly, I don't know if Ryan's going to be super excited about more chicken. I am making up the rules as I go. This is just going to be like enchilada chicken and i'm just going to dump this in there because this is going to be one of those recipes yeah you can drain your black beans and all that kind of stuff but in some recipes i don't so in this one i'm not you need a can of red enchilada sauce so i don't know if it filmed this but i just poured one can of the red enchilada sauce into this because it didn't look like it was recording so you could use 28 ounces if you're making a bigger amount i'm just making a smaller amount because i honestly we still have leftovers i don't know who all is going to eat this so I wanted to make something new for those not wanting leftovers. So this is not part of the recipe. This is just me messing around. I'm gonna add some taco seasoning to this just because I don't love plain enchilada sauce. I feel like this needs jazzed up. Sometimes I even add ranch to stuff like that's Mexican. I know someone's gonna come for me on that, but I do like when I make my Santa Fe stew, I add ranch um, to it. It's one of my favorite things that I ever make. Um, so I don't think it hurts to like mess around with what your, what your tastes are. I'll let you know if this makes a big difference. I just love a little bit of extra flavor and I feel like just a can of something doesn't give it that. I'm going to use these up because we really like these tostados. I'm also going to use this up that I have in the pantry. This is just that dirty rice because I am out of regular rice. I usually buy like the huge 20 pound bag from Sam's. So I'm going to need to do that. So I want to use this. So we'll have some rice. We'll have some enchiladas. I will probably even add, um, because I still have this available, I'm going to probably use some black beans because we love to do that with our meals. So it just adds extra stuff and it's so cost effective to use up what you have and to use things like this because um, this is very minimal cost. So anyway, we're gonna let this cook. Um, you can cook it on high for three to four hours or you can cook it on low six to eight. I'm just gonna let it cook um, I think I have time today. So I'm gonna maybe let this cook on low so it doesn't like burn. So that's what I'm going to do and we'll come back. Okay guys, so the chicken enchilada is done. I shredded the chicken. I didn't show that. I was so busy so that I just shredded it real quick. Put it back in so that's with the bean mixture. I've let it cook way too long. I am cooking the rice in the microwave just because if it was plain rice, I would just use my Instant Pot, but since it's like a box kit, I'm not gonna use my Instant Pot for that because it dries it out real bad. Um, so, I've got this, I'll add some cheese to this. I got these giant bags on sale last week for like $4.99 at Kroger. So I was really happy about that. Um, you know you can freeze cheese also as a money saving thing. You can freeze it, thaw it um, later if you, if you get a good deal. I didn't do that. I don't prefer to do it personally, but I've done it before when I've gotten like really good deals. So there's that. I'm just going to let this stay on warm and kind of like melt the cheese a little bit. 
It's got refried beans to start with that. I don't know if they'll want to put the refried beans on this and then top it. Like some of the kids like to do that kind of thing. It's totally optional. It's done. Here is my plate. I'm using those Beyond chips I got on clearance last week that have low carb and lots of like 13 grams of protein. I've got a little bit of guac because I like guac with mine. I put chicken on top, refried beans, and some cheese. So refried beans, the kids did the tostados, and then there is that. So it's really, really good. And easy, guys. I'm so cheap. Okay, guys, dinner is so easy today. Crock pot liner. This was the other part. If you saw me do this before with the crock pot, this was the um but like i had a massive pack of boneless pork loin so i'm gonna put that in there and this is kind of like pineapple themed i know it might not be everybody's cup of tea i've got this seltzer water it's pineapple flavored i am going to pour the can in there because it cooks best with this you can put onion in there i think i may put some onion in there that because that would be good ryan would kill me if i put pineapple in this so i will avoid that but i already had some sliced onion so this just adds a little bit of flavor i'll put it under the pork um like i said listen to it fizz it just gives it a little bit more flavor so i've got pineapple ginger rum uh, barbecue sauce so i'm just gonna he does not like wet barbecue but i like it like that he likes to have it more of a dry rub he's like that even with wings he'll eat like he obviously likes the sauce but now he's been getting wings like at places like at b-dubs uh, bw3s with like a dry rub i'm not a fan of that i like it to be like i know you guys don't like the word moist because i think that sounds gross too but anyway so we're gonna cook it like this i'm not adding anything else extra right now um as it cooks i might add a little bit more seasoning something like that but honestly this will have a lot of flavor with the sauce and with that um this like some people cook it i cooked it a million times with bar with them um, what am i trying to say with pineapple or not pineapple but coke like a bottle of coke um it just helps it cook so i you can set it like i said six to eight hours on low or on four to six hours on high i mean three to what am i saying today guys three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low i am running out of time so we're gonna put it on high and come back it's already been sitting out thawing some so um, if it was frozen, I'd probably cook it longer, but honestly, it's all dependent on your crock pot. And yeah, we're gonna plug it in. I, I did this, and you guys, everybody always comments on how cute this crock pot is. It is very cute, but if you can see this, the um, like Pioneer Woman has cute stuff, but not functional, if that makes sense. So like all the like hot, warm, and um, low rubbed off like literally a year into me having this. So I won't buy it again. I wanna get that Drew Barrymore brand that she's got out. I think it's really cute. The beautiful brand or whatever. Anyway, enough rambling, but we're going to come back to this after it's cooking. I've got buns to use up because we are trying to save money. I'm using up the buns that I have. We'll probably top a little bit of garlic, salt, and butter on them, pop them in the oven, boil them, and probably serve it with some fries. If I have time, I'll make macaroni cups. If not, we'll just do fries because it's fast and easy and it's still cheap because I got them on sale. Okay guys, I put tater tots in the oven, cook them, because they are cheap and easy and not the same old boring stuff. So we're gonna put some queso cheese on it, melt it, and you could top it with scallions if you wanted to or sour cream or whatever. I'll just leave it with cheese because that's the way they like it. So here is that. That'll melt because it's super hot. Okay, for some reason it sprinkled all beside it, but there is that. And then coming over here, this has been cooking literally way too long. I'm gonna shred that and put the sauce into it on a separate plate. So we'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to put the sauce in. I shredded it. This literally, where it's been cooking all day, shredded so easy. And all I do is I'll save some of this. He likes to put some on top um, of his, like, actual sandwich. But I like to mix it together. And then we'll top it with some slaw. And I'll put the camera down for a minute because I'm literally shaking it with you guys. Okay, so there is the barbecue. So here's the leftover from my buffalo chicken wraps. Here's the slaw. We're just gonna put on this with a bun. I'm not gonna toast it. I was gonna do it. I'm just gonna put it on top of it because they're hungry and serve the tater tots. And then if they want a veggie or some fruit with it, we'll do that. So there you go. Sorry for the shadows on this. But there is the barbecue with the slaw and the cheesy top. Okay guys, another chaotic day for me. Another one, <laughs> it's always chaotic. Um, we have a lot going on today. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to get it done with um, my business stuff. So, lots going on because I have two, kind of like two separate businesses. So, 
I am going to put crock pot tacos because I won't even be home this evening, but I want to have something for them. Ryan is not a massive fan of tacos. Um, I wish I had green chilies to put in this, but all I'm going to do, I got these packs of, actually, I don't always, I don't, if I can open them, uh, I got these for $2.72 each at Kroger. And like I said, when you can find deals on food, get them and freeze them. So these were each $2.72. Normal price was probably like, gosh, I don't even want to know at this point in life. Um, for organic beef, grass fed, who knows? So I didn't buy it for that reason, but I bought it because it was on sale and it was healthier. So I'm taking two packs and see, normally for our family of six, you would need more than two packs um to to make it stretch because they like to take leftovers my kids live for tacos like their mother like ryan can take it or leave it he's not like <laughs> he's not a big taco person unless you got some like i call them fixins to go with them so you can crock pot cook your ground beef that's what's beautiful about this i was going to make chili but i did not feel like going through and cooking all the meat and doing that because i just don't have time i do not have any time today so i'm taking one thing of um black beans you can add corn to this some people do i'm not going to add corn that is one thing ryan's not a fan of with um anything taco related or chili related or anything like that <laughs> so um i like it so i'm gonna add beans plenty of fiber going on in here but not only that when you cook meat and you want to make your dollar stretch add some beans they will bulk it up they will flavor it up and they will just make your dollar stretch. I'm adding two things, actually three things, because this is two pounds. I like a little extra flavor. So I'll add three taco seasoning packs. I usually try to get reduced sodium if I can. Isn't that weird how different those two packs look? One's Aldi and one is Kroger. But anyway, I'll try to add um, three packs to this because I like that. And then what I usually do, I don't have any on hand. I, ha I didn't want to test out the Alfredo version of it as I add ranch seasoning because ranch and taco seasoning together is so, so good. Don't knock it till you try it. I put it in my Santa face too. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this all day long on low because I have the time to do that today. It's, we're starting this early and yes, my meat is frozen. So that will be just fine. I'm going to cook this all day. I wish I could read what these settings are supposed to be. See, see, I told you about Pioneer Woman. So I'm gonna cook this all day and then we'll come back. You can serve this with rice. You can serve this on nachos and tortilla wraps, whatever you wanna do. And then this will have enough because I added the beans to stretch it for another day. So let's let's uh, come back later once this cooks and my house smells like heavenly tacos. So here is the taco meat. I've been letting it cook all day long. It's got the beans mixed in there and you can put it on nachos, put it on taco wrap, whatever you want, put it over rice. We've got avocados, we've got, we probably got sour cream, we've got cheese, obviously. Whatever toppings you want. Super easy way to cook dinner. Okay, my beautiful friends, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and check out my girl, Jessie Christine's channel. Give her some love, tell her I sent you, and you guys, I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Love you guys.